Is it the library? Oh, the library is over here. Hold on. Got another book. Who am I talking to? Elisa? Oh, she's right upstairs, that's fine. There she is. <sighs> if you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. I'm sure we are. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Oh, I wanted to see you. Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss <sighs> Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm. Recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? <laughs> oh dear. That's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books on time. Whoa, is Paimon mm. imagining things? Or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Got a library cop uh, here. Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to the souvenir shop. Ooh, it's okay. called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. <laughs> Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. <laughs> so it's a date now? Oh, is that how you see it? And she is going red, which means, yeah. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. At your age, these kinds of fleeting fantasies are normal. Mm, damn right. <laughs> Well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes, let us pick. 
All right, so let's take a look around. Choose a gift release. So. <laughs> the old bloomers. What is what is the question mark? Hey, you're getting the underwear. Soft, puffy, and very comfortable. Certain to make a little girl, well, in this case a woman, look quite adorable. After all, they're the same kind worn by toy dolls. They're practically a badge of cuteness. Bloomers? <laughs> I'm sure to attract some strange looks if I dress up like a small child in public. Do you have some strange hobby you're not telling me about? Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Do I pick the bloomers or what? Ooh, wait, we got another one. A voodoo doll. This is the toy doll I was talking about earlier. Doesn't she look lovely in those shorts? Hmm. It does look a little bit terrifying, doesn't it? Hmm. I wonder if you could find some other use for it. Voodoo doll? Have you lost your mind? What could I have possibly done to deserve this? Are you sure? Can't you? Me? <coughs> You're asking me? Uh, I feel like Lisa is the well-educated type. Ah, oh, that's right. I heard she enjoys items of historical interest. How about this rusty sword? This is a new arrival. It took three adventurers to carry this big boy back from the ruins where they found it. It comes with a lot of history, as well as a lot of weight. Hmm. You do have strange tastes. If this is your way of saying you want to be my knight in shining armor, I'd rather you just say the words instead. Are you sure? God. Can't change again once you've made your. So let's say no to that. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the adventurers' guild. That's pretty cool. Sure, there's a bit of wear and tear. But this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. My goodness. This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the northern border wind investigation. What is it doing here? Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your... We'll pick this one. My, my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. Yeah, give I up the so library book. When you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Welcome to Good Hunter, Table 3! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like, and call me over once you're ready to order. So, we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? <laughs> Today's recommendation is the steak. Yeah. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious. The steak? Let's see the steak. Good hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. Hmm. Are you sure? 
<sighs> what a... This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. Are you sure? Can't change... Uh, let's see what else we got. <sighs> Why don't you order? <sighs> Interesting. However, it's a good hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of <clears throat> course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. Good Hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. Are you sure? <sighs> this seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. Are you sure? Are we are we drinking or what? <sighs> Alright, let's have some smoke chicken. This seems like the you sure? Hmm. Finished ordering? Sit here. Let's dine together. Hmm, such a potent aroma. It's almost suffocating. I never thought someone your age would go for a dish like this. I always had you down as a little cutie. Now I'm not so sure. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. <laughs> Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I'd borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. <sighs> okay then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop then, cutie. Cutie. It's been getting quite busy. Have there will definitely be something that catches your eye. Moon pie. That's what I'll make you. <sighs> this is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? Never heard of that book before. Take the hint. <laughs> Never mind. Your ignorance is somehow rather adorable. Alright, she's full on fucking attracted to us. And I might like that. Since you're here and Lisa is here and this is a flower shop, you might as well get a bunch of flowers, right? It only makes sense. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you... Dandelions are one of our classic. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They're a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. Are you sure? Can't... Some flop... 
mist flowers over there in the corner but don't touch them with your bare hands you'll get frostbite you want them it's just that lisa seems to use electro quite a lot things could get a little bit dangerous Are you sure some flop you want my help i don't know if i have the best taste in flowers why don't you go ask miss flora the shop owner I couldn't help but notice the flower on Miss Lisa's hat, though. I think it's a rose. I think we should go to the florist. The main girl. Some flower. Let's ask her. Wherever she is. Here we go. You want to know what flowers to get for Miss Lisa? We're not particularly close, but she strikes me as a classy lady. Hmm. Yep. It can only be the Cecilia. All right. Cecilia, did Miss Flora recommend it to you? This flower is a lot of effort to care for. I hope that I've been doing it right. Otherwise, they won't last long. But part of the Cecilia's charm is how precious and fragile each one is. Are you sure? Ooh, Go for that one. Ah, such fine taste. This rare flower is only found in Mondstadt's very highest mountains. If only you had picked them for me with your own hands. They would have had twice the sentimental value. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies ring a bell. Oh, uh, yes. Well, what happened was... Oh no, what am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> a while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> Well, if it really was stolen, Donna has done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Element... Use your elemental sight to look for clues! I pressed that too quick. All right, we're gonna get this book. Um.
Oh, I see something. Hold on. Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So, what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? Oh, we got co-op unlocked. Nice. Oh, we can't do it yet. Let's do the quest. Doors to the spiritual abyss are closed. Only those are venturing 20 can enter the abyss. Okay. There it is. The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. Is there a hidden uh, alcove here, maybe? No. Oh. I guess we can try to check up here. That was the wrong button. Oh, there it is. Hmm, it's further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell. Let's kill these guys before it's gone. Well, this quest is going on forever. All in the name of a book. All right. Um, 
almost there. must be nearby using elemental sight you can even detect magic follow the flow of magic to find the book so is the book hidden or what's going on here inside ruins Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents this seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers it's like you can read my mind this is more likely to be the abyss orders doing they do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts after all also there's an elemental seal at the entrance it looks mm. like the result of an abyss mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Because it's Lisa, that's why. She don't mess around. Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. It's so much bigger in here than Paimon thought. Do we really have to go all the way inside? If you borrow a book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions. that up there. Uh, it's part of the decorations. Am I dropping down or? Oh, whew. Didn't like those lasers there for a second. Oof. Attack the sensors, arc control. I can't aim. You're in for a little shock. Blitz. 
Oh, okay, here they are. Spikes. Oh, really? And I, I, I'm on the platform and I cannot jump on it. I have to wait till it lowers. What? What the fuck? Dude, th this, this platform is, uh, bullshit. Alright, hold on. Oh, there's something on that side. Okay, hold on a second. I hit all of them and good, but it's not hitting what I want to hit. I I have no idea. I have no idea how the hell I get that. I'm using my 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 thing and. a really bad ability like this is up I can't shoot it can I Get some. Ooh, no, 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 cancel. I, I need some food. Oh my god. for a little shot. Alright, let's see. I'm missing something here. These puzzles are, these puzzles are getting to me. Oh, 
Oh, what about this cube? Never mind. comes out of nowhere. Dude, what the fuck? Are, are you serious? You're supposed to kill it with Lisa, and that doesn't work. Your fucking ability is absurdly slow. You're in for a little shock. I'm doing the combo, but it's not going. Because I, get, I keep getting fucking hit. Okay, so final trial. Hey, look! It's an abyss mage! Lisa was spot on! easy to find. I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? Dude, she is a fucking nerd. You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... who are you? The librarian. Although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... the secret. Huh? What, what, what oh God! Such concentrated elemental power! P please don't! And dead. Lisa is so terrifying. <laughs> Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. Oh yeah. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. Ooh, secret. It's the Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Paimon remembers that name. Is this the one you were looking for? That's the one. It's a good thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise, what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section. 
which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. I'll keep the, uh, the, the, the comments to myself there on, you know, what I think what's going on here with this book. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? Oh, There's no, no time limit for you. I'll oh. register you as custodian rather than borrower. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? <laughs> Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me, are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good, you're amenable to reason then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done, I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. Do I have to register the book? Alright, cool, we're done with the dungeon.